If you'd like to find the perfect winter coat this year, stay tuned for today's video. Hi there, welcome to my channel. My name is Sarah and I am the Style Coach. This channel is all about helping to refine your personal style and in doing so, increase your confidence. If you'd like to join me over on Instagram, you're most welcome. You'll find me there at thestylecoach.ie. You'll find out more about my online courses down below. And if you'd like to work with me, you can find more information on my website, thestylecoach.ie. Winter is coming and I'm sure you're taking out those winter coats already or you are looking at investing in a new one. Now, as winter coats go, they can be pretty pricey and I believe that when you buy a winter coat, it should be something that's gonna be in your wardrobe for the foreseeable future. Something that's well chosen for you at this point in your life should be with you, I think, for a lifetime and should have the potential of being sold on or passed down to another person. So we wanna make sure that we're spending our money on the right coats in the first instance. A subscriber asked me to do a video on choosing the right coat for each body shape, which I'm going to do, but I'm also going to go a step further than that and talk about all the other little things that you might consider when you're buying your winter coat. So I will get to body shape towards the end of the video, uh, but first I want to talk about color. You're going to hear many, many people across YouTube, across various channels saying that, well, you should absolutely have a classic camel coat. You cannot go wrong with that. And I think there's an element of truth in that. However, the color camel, not for everybody, particularly if you have cool undertones. Now, if you don't know what undertones you have or you don't work with the color palette already, please do get in touch with me. I work with people online or in person as well for color consultation. So that's the first thing. A camel coat is not gonna suit everybody. Yes, it's classic. Yes, it's a neutral. Yes, it will go with many things, but will it bring out the best in your skin? Not necessarily. So beware the camel coat, unless you put a great colored scarf next to your face so that you break up that color that doesn't necessarily suit you and separate that and it will help make it work for you if you already have it in your wardrobe. If you are warm undertoned, a camel coat is going to look beautiful on you. It'll bring out a healthy glow in you. Likewise, if you went for a deep chocolate color, great winter color for you. However, if you've got cool undertones, you might consider going for something different, like black would work great on a cool undertone, gray works great on a, on a cool undertone. But you know what? They're all neutral colors and perhaps you're somebody who likes a little bit more color in their life little bit like me. So you might like to go for something else from your color palette, like a fuchsia pink, like a green or something like this, something that livens up these darker days. So when it comes to color, I'm going to go a step further here and say you need to consider your own personality, your current wardrobe, and what is going to work well taking into consideration these various things. I'm a little bit of a dramatic style personality, so I like a pop of color when it comes to my winter coats. Next up, let's talk about length. Length is gonna be really important. Now, typically speaking, when we speak about a coat, it comes down below the hips. But for each person, each body type, each uh, different height, it will vary. I think what is most flattering on the majority of people, regardless if you are petite, which is five foot four and under, or if you're tall, what works really well, I think, is somewhere that's below the hips, probably about four inches below the hips, which is about mid thigh for most people. That can be quite flattering. Now, another flattering length would be just above the knee. You don't wanna cut yourself off directly on a joint, be that the ankle or the knees, or indeed a little bit higher at the hips. You wanna make sure that you come above or below each one of these joints, because when you cut yourself on a joint, makes you look shorter. Another great length for you could be below the knee, so almost like a, a midi length, which works really nicely. Um, you could also go right down all the way to almost floor length, which gives a lovely regal elegant look to your, to your outfit. Right? Be careful if you are petite and you're going for this full length. It can be very drowning, very overpowering. I would recommend going for something that is not as long if you are petite. So keep those lines above or below the joints. That's the key in the length. 
By the way, if you're liking this content, if you're learning something new, could I please ask you to like the video and subscribe to the channel if you're not already subscribed. Let's get on to the next point, which is all about closure. When I talk about closure, I'm not talking about relationships. I am talking about whether you've got a zip or button details. Now, I always find that zips are a little bit, um, they're more informal. And I think that when you're looking for a winter coat, depending on your lifestyle, I guess, a zip will give you a more relaxed look to your overall outfit. However, something with buttons on it will definitely elevate that style to the next level of formality. So if you're looking for something that's quite chic, quite elegant, do look for buttons rather than zips, I would say. We'll talk a little bit more about whether it should be a single-breasted button or a double-breasted button. We'll get to that when we talk about body shape in just a minute. Let's talk about price now for your winter coat. This is going to vary greatly for everybody depending on your own budget. But what I would say is if you are thinking about buying a few different things this winter, be sure to give a good chunk of your budget towards your winter coat. As I said at the start of this video, a winter coat is something that should see you through a lifetime uh, if you choose it well. And that being said, when you consider not just the price, but the whole relationship of the price according to your budget, the price of the item, and the relationship with the rest of your lifestyle, in other words, how often are you going to wear this? For how many years are you going to wear this? Is there resale value in this item? Do you absolutely love it? Do you feel amazing in it? When you can answer all of these questions with confidence and you can say, yes, I'm going to wear it every year for the next 20 years, you get more confident in spending more money if you have it. Try not to go cheap on your winter coat if at all possible. It doesn't have to be, you know, blow your budget type of money. I never recommend anybody blowing their budget. You should never feel guilty about your purchases, but do uh, divide your budget up so that you give the majority of your money to your winter coat. That's what I would say there. Keep in mind also that if you're not in a hurry for your winter coat, let's say you have something to get you through the next few months and you get to January and you get to February, that is such a great time to buy your winter coat. When the warmer weather is coming in through March and April, you'll find that winter coats are always on sale because they're no longer needed for that season. So if you can hold off, you will get yourself a great bargain in the new year. Also, if you want to get a little bit more bang for your buck, then try shopping secondhand. There's so many items online that are sometimes brand new with tags that have never been worn and are waiting for you to buy them at a fraction of the retail price. I've done that a couple of times and I have found absolute gems. So do try that as an option as well. There's so many good things online secondhand. Now let's talk about specific body shapes and what coats will work best for them. Let's start with the rectangle body shape. Just as a little reminder, the rectangle body shape has equal measurements down through the shoulders, the waist and the hips. There is little to no curves in the body shape when we look at the silhouette straight on. If you've watched my other videos, you'll know that I have little mantras for each of the body shapes. For a rectangle, I always say, keep the softness there and keep movement there. How does that translate into your, your winter coat? Well, we want to create shape here. So we're thinking about peplum styles of coats, something that's belted in the middle and single breasted will be key here as well. You don't wanna go for this military style double breasted coat, which is going to further emphasize the linear frame of the rectangle shape. But by choosing a peplum shape, you're giving a little bit more shape to that body shape. Now, of course, you've got to take into consideration, well, what is it I'm trying to achieve here? Do I want to soften my shape or do I want this linear structured coat? That really is an individual thing. And that's something I always ask my clients when we're working together. What do you want to achieve? But for the sake of this video, I'm going to keep it quite general so that it works for the majority of people. And the aim is to bring balance to the body shapes. If you didn't want to go full on peplum with the style of your coat, consider pocket details around the hips. That's also going to give a little bit of volume in different places. So there are other ways to mitigate the linear frame of the rectangle. 
As for the round shape, and here I'm going to include anybody who's conscious of the tummy area, so it's not necessarily just the apple shapes. For this person, my little mantra that I always have for each body shape is think about long lines, long vertical lines. That's what we are considering for the apple shape, the oval shape, the round shape, or indeed anybody who is conscious of the tummy area. When we're thinking about this person, we are thinking about single breasted coats. That's the main thing you want to be considering here. Possibly going for very uh, small or thin lapels or no lapels at all. You want to bring the length of this coat all the way down to about the mid point of the leg so that you're elongating the upper half of the body. That's the aim here. By choosing the single breasted coats, we are creating that long line, whether it's closed in a single line of buttons or it's worn open, you get those two vertical lines that skim the tummy area, elongate the upper body, and it is extremely flattering. Now, the other thing I would emphasize here is structure in the shoulders. Stay away from these um, dropped sleeve shoulders that don't do anything for the round or apple shape. This person generally has very soft sloping shoulders. We want to bring a little bit more structure back into the shoulders. So consider something with um, strong shoulders, a shoulder pad, um, and that also gives a little bit of height. I know it's very minimal, but it makes all the difference. So these are the things you should be looking for if you are this body shape. Now our lovely pear shape or triangle shape. So for this person, their dominant feature is around the hips, around the bum, um, the lower body. So therefore we're trying to bring equal volume up to the upper half of the body. When we consider this in our winter coats, what we're looking for is big lapels here. We wanna bring it all up to the upper body. You can go for those double breasted locks. You can go for a big hood on your coat with fur on it. Go for structure in the shoulders here as well. We wanna bring it all up to the upper part of the body and we want to keep the lower part very streamlined. What does that look like? Well, we certainly don't want a peplum style. We want something that's gonna skim the hips and have very little in the way of pocket detail. If there are pockets there, you don't want pocket flaps, you want it very streamlined. So minimize the bottom half, bring all the interest upwards. Now we're flipping that with the inverted triangle. So the inverted triangle, their dominant feature is across the shoulders or the bust, and we want to now bring that volume downwards. What does this mean in a winter coat? Well, it means that you're going for a single breasted style. Do not go for those double breasted styles. In terms of lapels, we want to keep it very, very simple. Nothing too flashy, nothing too big, uh, slim or no lapels here. You could go for a belted style as well and go for those pocket details. We wanna go for a little bit of shape into the lower part of the coat here to bring balance to the upper body. So consider a peplum style, an A-line style, uh, consider pocket details with flaps on it, anything that gives a little bit more volume to that part of the body. We're bringing the interest down, we're minimizing the upper half. Finally, we have our hourglass shape. And for the hourglass, what we don't wanna do here is go for anything that's too boxy or shapeless here. Um, we're really just going to lose the body shape completely if we do that. Now, of course, this might be a style that you enjoy, you know, these kind of oversized, shapeless coats. It certainly has been trending, but if you want something to last in your wardrobe, you probably want to think a little bit more carefully and look beyond these trends. So we're considering definitely something that's belted or lovely and tailored, a great tailored coat. From there, really, you have a lot of freedom. If you add a lot of volume in terms of a hood or big lapels or interesting details on the upper half, be sure to match that on the lower half with an A-line shape with pocket details, with a peplum style. And similarly, if you keep it very simple on top, make sure to keep it simple on the lower half. You can go for a variety of styles of coats, just make sure that it's belted or well tailored and you balance the upper and lower halves. I do hope this video has helped you choose your winter coat so that it lasts you a very, very long time. That's it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. Please tune in again next week and I'll see you then. Bye bye.